I, I still kind of can't believe that yesterday happened the way that it did. It's been crazy and I've never had it be this hard, ever. This was not supposed to happen. How do we get from a six hour travel day to an over 30 hour travel day? <laughs> Four in the morning, we just got to the airport. Me and Chef are waiting on Daddy to get the car parked, and then we're gonna check in. I feel medium about today. I feel scared a little. I'm worried that he's not gonna sleep, and then we will be trapped with him on a plane, and he'll be overtired and screaming, and I have no control over that. Uh, we're just taking it one step at a time. But yeah, we're in good spirits, we're excited and I feel a little bit nervous, but we'll be okay, we'll make it through. He should have been asleep. This carry-on, pretty much where we have all of his stuff in, toys, everything that we could possibly need is in that carry-on, so we'll always have it with us, but we would, didn't have to stuff the diaper bag full of stuff. His car seat, his stroller, the gate check bags, it's a packed house, but I feel like it's not as bad as it could be. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Just made it through security. Nothing like sweating to start off a travel day. Every time. Every time. I feel like airports, it's always like you're always sweating. There's too hot or it's like freezing and you're shivering. Shivering in your britches. just got to the gate. Alex is now checking to see if we have a full flight. If we do have a full flight, then we'll have to take our son on as a lap child and just have him on us. If it's not a full flight and we're able to have a seat between us, we can take the car seat on and hopefully he can sleep. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm getting Starbucks. I have the easy job. I feel good. I just want to know that we're gonna make our connection. They just delayed the flight by like. They said an hour, but they don't think they have another plan yet. People that actually look cute at airports. Go you, honestly, you're amazing. That'll never be me. Wearing jeans at an airport? You're gonna be sitting. No. Sitting for 10 hours. Someone who wears heels. You're amazing, you're so impressive. I'm really tired, but I feel like being a parent has unlocked something new because I'm not, I'm not nearly as tired as I, I would be. Instead of getting to Sacramento at 10 or 11, it's gonna be like 7.30 at night. We're gonna get to where we're going at like midnight. Since we're gonna be in the Cincinnati airport for a couple hours, we're going to try to make the most of it, go in some little shops, maybe buy some things. Alex is considering getting a beer. Nothing like a 8 a.m. beer. The airport's a weird place. You see someone drinking a beer in the morning, and it's like, I'm considering being that person right now. Time doesn't exist in airports. He's nodding. Finally, 
five hours later than we thought we'd be. We got to Cincinnati, the airport, at 4, and then we did not leave there until almost 11, or past 11. Yeah, still, that was tough. But Shep did amazing. He, he did. slept most of the time. Right now, it feels like we're never going to get there. Um, kind of what I'm thinking. But I'm excited to get some food. Not just pretzels, a little. Yes. Those were so good, I ate them all. Share size. Just <laughs> for me. Go D. Okay. Go. We just finished eating. Where? TGI Wednesdays. TGI Wednesdays. <laughs> nah, TGI Fridays. I got chicken fingers. Alex thinks it's lame that I got a Cobb salad. I, he thinks it's really stupid. <laughs> Wouldn't you say it's interesting if someone goes to a place like TGI Fridays and gets a salad? I'm not saying I looked good, but it's like getting soup at McDonald's. Except our flight that we're supposed to be on right now from Dallas got delayed about an hour. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be a 24 hour day. I'm so tired I can't even think about it. We'd be how going long. to bed right now. No. And then we get there and we're stopping halfway to our final destination. So the hotel, shower, pass out, fresh day. We're gonna meet people, not at 1 a.m. thing I'm, I'm really excited about, and I know you are too, is in the original plan for today, <laughs> we get to actually have, well, now we get to stop halfway yeah. and we have a little bit of a drive in the morning, which we're really excited yeah, about because we love road trips and it's a beautiful area. Yes. It is so great. kind of can't believe that yesterday happened the way that it did. Um, we got in at the hotel at like 12 and uh, we've still got about two and a half hours to drive this morning. Yeah, it's been, it's been crazy. It's never been this difficult to get to California, ever. I've been to California a lot of times. So, some crappy hotel coffee, which is necessary this morning. And then we'll get on the road again. about California, liquor in the grocery store. Not used to that in Ohio. 
I'm gonna go get diapers. We didn't wanna have to uh, get diapers and like stuff them all in suitcases, like a whole pack, a whole week's worth. It's just too much to pack, so. But I'm gonna get this big one because we're gonna go pretty much be in the middle of nowhere and I would much rather have more diapers than I need. journey but there's a lot still to be thankful for not to be annoying and one of those people but there is there is so much that I'm thankful for this drive this morning was beautiful Shep was awesome for the travel sound machine that was instrumental in everything one thing was bringing the car seat and just seeing if we could bring it in because we didn't pay for yeah. a, a third seat but the first flight we did have a whole row to ourselves yeah. and just passed out on that seat. Yes. We have our hands free. Yeah. And it was amazing. Just the attitude was something that we, I think, really were intentional about being thankful. And even when he was maybe crying a little bit, it could be could worse, be worse. <laughs> so much. And so just being thankful. So yeah, this was a journey. It was a kind of stressful to document it all along the way, not knowing that it was going to turn out the way that it did, but I'm glad that I did it. Great time with you, baby. There's no one else I'd rather do it with. Me too. And we will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment. Comment. Anything.